Hey guys, it's Tika and welcome back to the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified every time I post a delicious video. I have a couple of videos for you guys today for some quick last minute Easter treats. I know I have not been here for a while. I'm so sorry. It is so much going on, but I promise I'm gonna to try to get some more uploads and stuff for you guys done in the upcoming months. But in the meantime, let's just kind of focus on Easter and make some of these really, really cute treats. In my Choco Maker Chocolate Milter today, I am starting off with some Sweet Tooth Fairy Meltables in the color light green. I did use an entire bag for this today, and one whole bag of this chocolate will probably yield you about seven plus chocolate covered Oreos. I also added to this chocolate a little bit of this lemon color. This is by Color Mills and it is a candy dye just to give it more of a lime green look. So I'm gonna just start off here with just a regular smegular spoon and I'm gonna take about three spoonfuls of this lime green chocolate. I'm gonna add it to my mold right here. I know you cannot really see this mold, I'm sorry. It is clear, but just in case you do want one similar to this, I will leave a link below. I got this one from Amazon. Once I've gotten my chocolate in my mold, I'm just gonna give it a tap to kind of get out any air bubbles and level it. And then I am going to take some of these Oreo Thins. I love Oreo Thins, y'all. And I'm just going to add a couple of these into the mold. I really like this idea better than having one solid Oreo because you kind of get like an Oreo sandwich. You get a little Oreo, you get a little chocolate, you get a little bit more Oreo, you get some more chocolate. I don't know. I just felt like this was just the way to go on this one. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add in my second Oreo now. And then I am going to grab a bit more chocolate and just kind of seal everything off. And that looks good. So now I'm just going to finish up these other little Oreos that I have right here. Just taking a little bit of chocolate and adding a second layer and then adding in an additional Oreo thin. Now that these are all finished, I'm just gonna give another tap and these can go into the freezer until they are nice and solid. Once they have come out, then we can go ahead and start decorating. I'm gonna be decorating just the surface on this chocolate covered Oreo right here. And I'm gonna be using a little bit of brown colored modeling chocolate today. I'm gonna grab my small fondant rolling pin and I'm just gonna roll this out nice and thin. Now my rolling pin is hot because it just came out of the dishwasher. So if you're wondering why my modeling chocolate looks so smushy and gushy, that is why. Um, but once I've gotten this rolled out nice and thin, I'm going to grab a small round cutter and I'm just gonna cut a small round out of this modeling chocolate. And I'm just gonna use this little fondant tool here to kind of help me get this off of my silicone mat because as I said before, it is a little smushy gushy right now. So I'm just gonna grab this up and this little bitty brown circle is gonna be the center for my chocolate covered Oreo. Now I'm gonna be taking a little bit of royal icing with a grass tip, and I'm going to be going around this little brown dot that we put on our chocolate covered Oreo a little bit ago. And I'm just doing some quick bursts 
and adding on what will look like grass right here. Now you do not have to use real icing, you can use buttercream, but because I wanted these to dry up nice and hard, I decided to go with real icing. And you know, I have a home business where I'm always making cookies, so I always have real icing around. It was a bit easier for me to do. But once you've gone all the way around your little circle, we are going to move on to creating the basket. So to create this basket, I'm gonna be using this Wilton Sailor mold. I'm actually gonna be using these two rope sections right here. And I'm just gonna start off by taking my fondant duster and adding a little bit of dust in here so nothing sticks in. And I'm also gonna take a brush just to get into all the little nooks and crannies. And then I'm gonna grab my brown colored modeling chocolate and I'm just going to start smearing it into this section of the mold right here. This larger section right here, this larger rope mold portion is actually going to be the base of our basket. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the smaller rope up here. This is actually going to be the handle for the basket today. So because my modeling chocolate was a little soft, I did pop this mold into the freezer for a few seconds. And now I'm just going to remove my little ropes from the mold. Now I'm gonna be taking the smaller of my little round cutters here, and I'm going to take the base rope for our basket today, and I'm going to wrap it around this little cutter right here. This is gonna help me get that perfect round shape, but also help it to kind of hold in place while I get everything measured out perfectly so it can fit right on top of our grass. Now my basket is perfectly shaped and I have sealed off the seam on the back and I'm going to now just place it on top of my grass and try to gently wiggle it off of this here little round cutter. Now that it's in place, I'm just going to grab a fondant smoother and just kind of level it out. I also have here some Whopper Easter eggs and I'm just gonna take my tweezers and dip a couple of these in a little bit of chocolate and go ahead and add them right into my basket. Now that that's finished, we can go ahead and start working on the handle for our basket. So I'm taking a round cutter again, and that rope that we created earlier, this smaller one, and I'm just wrapping it around this cutter until I have like what looks like a handle shape. Then I'm just going to take my little fondant tool here and just measure everything up and cut off that extra. And there we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove this from this little cutter right here and hopefully you can do this more gracefully than I did y'all and what we really want to do is add a little bit of chocolate just to these two points right here and then we want to very carefully add them right on top of the basket now this part right here can get a little tricky um it's really kind of hard if you haven't let the fondant or your modeling chocolate sit for a while and harden to get that like perfectly positioned right on top of your basket. But I'm also going in with the fondant tool to clean up any extra chocolate here and just to kind of smooth out the seams on the handle so it all kind of looks a little bit more uniform. You know, feel free to play around with this part right here 
but as long as it looks like a basket in the end, hey, you've done a great job. And there is our cute little basket. So as a final touch for this, I'm actually gonna go back in with that royal icing grass one more time. And I'm just going to kind of go around it just to, you know, give it a little bit more detail and just make it look a little bit more cute. And there we go. Another great idea is to start off with a chocolate covered Oreo already covered in grass and a little ball of bottling chocolate. And I'm gonna take this baller tool right here and I'm just going to kind of rub it around this ball right here to kind of hollow it out. I've done this in other projects. I don't know what the terminology is for it, but basically I'm just hollowing out this ball right here and I'm turning it into what is going to look like a nest. While you're working, if you notice that your baller tool is sticking or your bottling chocolate or fondant is starting to warm up and things aren't moving along smoothly, just always grab yourself a little bit of fondant dust, place it on that balling tool and just keep going y'all. This has been my saving grace for this little project today. Okay, so that looks like it's pretty good. I'm gonna measure it to my other Oreo that I did earlier and make sure that it's not too big. So it matches about the size of that basket. So it's looking good for me. The next part of this is I'm going to grab another fondant tool. This one has like little grooves on the end, like little teeth, and I'm gonna scrape it across my little nest right here to give it some definition, you know, to kind of make it come to life. We want it to really look like a nest today. So I'm just doing random scrapes, y'all. There is no science to this. And I'm just gonna place it right on top of our Oreo. I'm gonna grab a fondant smoother again and just level out the nest so everything looks nice. Grab more of these Whopper Easter eggs and I even have some Wilton little bunnies and chickies right here. And I am just going to grab my tweezers and I'm going to add a couple of eggs into my nest. And then I'm gonna grab a little chicky today because I think that would look so cute in this nest. And I'm just gonna slide this one right in there. I didn't use any type of chocolate to secure it in place. I just slid it right in. And there we go, look how cute that is. So like I've done with all of the other things, I'm just going to add a little bit more grass as a finishing touch. And for some of these areas where I've added just a little bit too much, I'm going to go in with a toothpick and just kind of scrape it down a little bit so that it's not completely covering the nest. Well, that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one.